be Scotland. Get that out of the way. But it'll be the last match, and then they'll get scuppered. It's usually Ireland that does it, but Scotland have, have denied them it before. You think your last game was against Scotland, <laughs> right? Okay, yeah. Um, I'd, I'd be putting a tenner on Scotland to beat England if they're on for the Grand Slam. I can see Zool's colours. It seems they want a parlay, sir. Parlay, eh? A bit of parlay. Right then. Let's parlay. There's a lot of them. We thinned them out of the Ford, though. Twice. I went back and did it. Is a tenner equal to ten dollars? It is, Captain Bear, yeah. Well, ten pounds. God be with you, Sakuno. My respects, Sir Hagen. I don't believe I've had the pleasure since the siege of Lansenbach, wasn't it? An age ago, that was. In those days, we fought under the same banner. Hmm. We did. And even today, we may yet part friends. After all, my quarrel is not with you, but with Kobila. The thing is, your quarrel with Lord Kobila is my affair, since he tasked me with keeping order in his lands. All right. He's coming you, good. Hagen, you are disturbing that order. No offence, sir, but you are just a mercenary whose main concern is keeping order in his purse. My dispute with Radzig Kobila concerns a higher ideal. Cobbler shamed my family over a trifling misdemeanor. He hanged my father, raised our castle to the ground, gave our property away to his family and cronies. And for that, I demand just retribution. But you don't have to stand in my way, Kuno. I'm well aware why you serve Ratzig. You owe him a favor. And from what I've heard, it's not the first time you've had to pay him back. It won't be the last, either. The fact of the matter is, you fight Cobbler's battles for him, and you've little or nothing to show for it. Mm. Oh, this is where... If you accept my offer, on the other hand, you can ride away from here a rich man. Who wants to be rich? What do you say, sir? Okay, I think Henry's come to have us say about this. You can't do it. You're making a common mistake, Henry. There's a difference between what a man can't do and what he ought not to do. In this case, the difference is the size of Hagen's offer. Um, okay. Shall we try the honour? Let's try the honour. Have you no honour at all? To sell yourself to the highest bidder? The only bidder. Radzig never offered me a grosh yeah, that's because a bit low. you owe him a favour. And this is the third time I've had to pay him back. My conscience is clean. Hmm. Tell me, Kuno, what do you think makes a good mercenary? If I knew that, I'd have a marble palace in Florence. I'd sit all day on a golden throne drinking wine. But I suppose for a start, he should be skilled in warfare. Oh, that's how you see oh. it. But what about those who enlist your service? What they value is loyalty and fulfilling your duty. A mercenary who turns after coin like a vein after the wind isn't worth his salt. An eloquent speech, but like I said, I've paid Radzig back quite enough. So if you don't mind. I'll take that pile of coin and fuck off. And then what? Do you think anyone will ever hire you again after they hear of this? With that much money, I won't have to worry about that for a while. Anyway, everyone will understand how things really stand. Do you really think Sir Radzig and others like him will share your interpretation of They'll never hear of it, will they? <laughs> Not a chance. Everyone will see you for the swindler and turncoat you are, and Sir Radzig and I will make damn sure you won't come out of this smelling of roses. Hmm. Are you threatening me? Call it what you like. Fine. Mm. It seems you have learned something after all. You'll stay, then? 
Obviously. Well, it didn't okay. seem so obvious to me. No, bloody didn't. <laughs> Come on now, Henry. Don't take offence. Yeah. And let's go and deal with Hagen. Is this a fight then? Achievement unlocked. Mercenary's honour. I haven't got the right weapons equipped for this. It's true, Sir Hagen. This is not the first time I've paid Radzig back. Nor will it be the last. But then, he did save my neck from the noose. So I'll be long beholden to him. I'll make no bargain with you. But I will take your silver. <laughs> Good you man. Fight me. You're a damn fool. Half of it's mine. I've no wish to fight, but neither do you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have tried to buy me off. So it seems that we're evenly matched. Let's see who fortune favours. Swords, lads, swords. I'll go and get all the weak ones. So be it. Here we go. It's a fight. Still think I need a halberd. I do. Love a halberd. First. Hang on. Right, I'm open. I might actually get a combo off there. Are you impressed? Oh, I don't want to fight you. Anyone but you. Right. Let's go and get the weak ones first. We'll come back for the boss in a minute. Head cracker and down he goes. Someone hitting me? Someone's seriously pacing me. They're all piling on Henry. All piling on Henry in that case. I'm going to fight a guy with um, with all that armor. I'm going to need my mace. Hang on, who's hitting me? Right, hang on. Right, let's let's deal with you first, shall we? Good God, stop chopping me up, man. Stop it. Right. Oh, look behind you. You've got someone just from here. Smash! <laughs> Perfectly timed. Right, and this dude... Into him. Can I not get a... Oh, hang on, I'm getting taking a pace in here. Right, I'll keep him occupied, fellas. And up there, we want that. And then... Bosh! And repeat. Henry's fighting style. Mash someone over the head with a lump of iron. Boosh! <laughs> I think this guy's going down, is he? He's gone down. Combined effort, look. Combined effort. <laughs> well, that's that. Report to Sir Radzi. Hang on, not till I've had some of this. House of Zeal Shield. Well, now it's time for a drink. Take his helm. His helm looks like it might be quite nice. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. Golden spurs. That arm plate. That might be. Oh, I'm taking a lot. Who's there? Someone's just stood up. That headcracker guy, I think. 1.6 groschen. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Just a minute. There was a great big chest full of money just a minute ago. Oh, is that a really nice sword? A noble sword? I think it's just a standardish sort of sword, actually. The couple of saber, that's crap. Did any of our lot die? Soul slicer. Sounds too nice to leave. Cheap what? He's got 6,000 groschen on him. I think I might go and loot these other bodies. 6,000 groschen. I'm not seeing things. Okay. All right. Oh, the small armor's kit. Important thing. <laughs> 6,000. Let's just take a look. 4.3. That's more like it. I'm not carrying all this armor back. I'm not. I've got 95,000 groschen. And I've got a chest full of even more back at Pribislavitz. And uh, I'm not, I'm not going to waste time selling all these bits of bows and stuff. Besides which, none of the NPCs seem to have enough money to pay me anymore. Our oh, stone, he did die. We lost the stone. I hope it wasn't me that hit him. That's a shame. 
That is a nasty way to die. Still, you know, you won't have to big a, dig a very long grave to fit him in. Um, tend to take a Milanese Karas because it's worth a lot. But... Nope, I'm going to stick to my guns. Got the good stuff. Could steal a horse. There's a good horse. Hang on. Just a regular horse? This looks like a proper horse here. Oh, these... Oh, okay. Inspect horse. Let's inspect it then. It's pretty crap. I'm going to steal it anyway. Because why not? You can't mount up when... What? Is that... What? Is that new? You can't mount up when overloaded? No. I used to do that all the time. I don't even know where the hell my horse is anymore. Kissing his own ass, that guy. Yeah, that's something I've noticed about this game. It's always been the case that uh, people have died in uh, rather awkward positions. I'm going to put that one on the horse, I think. And I better keep I better keep one of those out in case it's for a stupid quest, so. But the noble sword. It was worth 1.3k. That was worth picking up Soul Slicer, not so much. And armor. Yeah, heavy stuff. Um the House of Zul Helmet is a 25. Let's just actually let's have a look at the defensive values here. It is better than the Warhorse Helmet. Thank you. At last, we get a decent helmet. And the Karas is a 26. Nice. We'll have that. It's worth less than that thing, so I can sell that. And it's a bit lighter. This is overall very good. In fact, all these armors an improvement over what I've had. I think. The leg plate is better than that. Yep. We've got some nice shiny armor. But sadly, nothing to go and use it on anymore. Okay, I think that's it. No more Zul stuff in there, is there? How about gloves? Uh, actually, on the horse, I think I put some... They're 11s. And mine are... Lords of Leper Gauntlets. 11s, anyway. I think that's all the stuff, isn't it? So let's put that on the horse. And that. And that. Wait, hang on. No, it's the arm plate. Yeah, that's okay. I've got the right stuff on. And that. Yeah, yeah, I can get the horse now. Cool. Pethicon mad, you can't overload a, overload a horse anymore. It was a little bit cheesy. I'd get so overload. I mean, I'd be carrying like three times my encumbrance level, and I'd just get on the horse and ride back. Although, yeah, you couldn't fast travel, but you could do, um, you could still gallop and stuff. People for the eating of tasty animals. Yeah, suggest that to them, to the, to the petter people, and uh, <laughs> they probably won't see the funny side. Oh, well, that's cool, actually. I've gone, I've streamed a little bit later than I was intending to tonight, but we have seen the end or we might see the end of the Band of Bastards DLC. I'm assuming that's where it finishes. I did see, I read a comment on Steam in one of the reviews that the final encounter it basically revolves around you passing a speech test, and I'm assuming that's to persuade Kuno to stay loyal. Otherwise, you get attacked by Kuno and his gang and all the other lot, and that would be hellish tough. So uh, I think I think we've seen how it was supposed to end. I'm not sure if there'd be other ways out of that. It would be interesting to see where it went, but uh, I could replay the battle, but let Kuno's band go. I could. I could do that. We could load that back in and see what it ends with. What I'll do is I'll make sure I save the game before then so I can return to that point if I don't like that outcome. Out the way. Out the way, guard. So we're going to guess that... Uh, oh, hello. God be with you, Henry. That Radzig's in here. Actually, I should... It says straight ahead. It must be. He's at his table. I'm going to guess. He sat at the wrong place. And that, that thing should have really been cleaned away by now. It's It's been here a week. 
Greetings. What business have you? Okay. Sir, we got rid of Zul. <sighs> Finally, some good news. Tell me all about it. We caught up with Hagen in the fields near Merhoyet, and there was a skirmish. I really dislike the way that um, Henry approaches all these cutscenes with his visor down. Uh, it's really annoying, all these conversations. I, 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 I would have thought they would have been able to patch that out at some point, but it's been like that since the game was launched. But before that, Hagen tried to bribe Kuno. Tell me, how did you persuade Kuno to stay on our side? You're assuming Kuno would have gone for Hagen's offer? I'm quite certain he gave it some thought. <laughs> Considering I don't pay him a single groschen, probably quite a lot of thought. You're quite right. So, how did you persuade him? I simply appealed to his honour, sir. <laughs> simply. Knowing Kuno, I'd say it would be simpler to persuade the devil to go to church on Sunday. <sighs> That's not far off the mark. But maybe he's not that bad after all. In the end, he did stay and fight for you. Any losses on our side? Kuno's men? How did they fare? Some of Kuno's men fell, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that. Such is a mercenary's life. May they rest in peace. Anyway, you deserve a reward for your efforts. And thank you, Henry. Once again, I'm beholden to you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Hmm. You'd be in the shit. Let's, let's, let's be honest. Let's, let's go for it. Yeah. I can't deny. Sometimes I get the feeling I'm the only one around here who's capable of getting things done. True enough. That's one of the best lines ever. I lost ever. a lot of good men in Scalitz. Mm. I'm glad I still have you at least. Best go and rest now. Thank you, sir. That that was a good line. A hats off to um, to Warhorse for that one. Okay, so that is quest completed. Band Goodbye. of bastards. What I will go and do. Do I have in here the, um, what's it, oh, I can chuck the rotten mushroom away, I think. Let's chuck it on his table. I've got 11 rotten mushrooms. Oh. Um, save your snaps. I've got 16 of them, so I can afford to use one. So we're going to eat one of these. I don't want to save here. So the game has been saved. And we're going to load it in. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine doing that in front of your lord's table? Just <laughs> chuck your mushrooms away. A real lord would have had Henry flogged for that. I, I totally agree. And then we're going to go to what price honor? Is that when I turn up at Ratai? It is. This is the countryside. This is it, I think. Hmm, might be. Let's see. Let's see. I might have just loaded the wrong one in. Time for you to bugger off to bed, so you'll say goodnight. Oh, cheers for catching up, Mere Culpa. Nice to see you. All right, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. It's the one before that. Um, yeah, that was a Savior Schnapps one. We're going to load that in last, so when we exit the game, that's right at the top of the list. Uh, Kuno's Camp. This is the countryside one. That's the one we've just done, so it's this here. Yeah, Mere Culpa, thanks for joining us tonight. It's great, uh, great to see you again. And um, have a good night's sleep and a great weekend. Whoop. Whoop, that doesn't look... Uh... I think Henry's been on the snaps again. Okay, let's go find the boss. Nope, not you. Not you. Sorry. So I feel like I've done everything I should have done in this. Oh, there he is. Do I have to hand the ring in? No. I found Jakey, and I know what Hagen is planning. So let's skip through this. Skip through this. I took him to the rat IJ. What will happen to that's up to say. I'm not so saddle up now. All right. Okay. Let's go see what happens then. This is going to be the ending take two, just to see what it's like. Uh, again, this DLC is pretty short. Like the Sahans DLC was, that was short. Although there was a quest that was bugged at launch on that, and when that was re-enabled, it doubled the length of it and it made it better. Uh, From the Ashes was a long deal. That, I mean, that was a lot of content in that. A lot of content. Huge difference. This one's another short one. But I've got to say I've enjoyed it. It's been nice to play again. The story's been kind of interesting. It didn't turn out quite as I expected. 
Uh, no, he didn't at all. I, I totally got um, Lakey or Lamey or whatever he's called. There they are. And Kuno wrong. I got them characters totally wrong. I can so, see Zool's colours. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. I've enjoyed this one. It seems they want a parlay, sir. Parlay, eh? So, about seven quid for... Right. What have we had? Well, how long have I been live? Let's parlay. Four hours. Hmm... I always like if these things are longer. I mean, some games, DLC, you get huge amounts of content in. I feel like... Nah, I can't complain. I had enough hours of entertainment out of the main game and the main quest, so... God be with you, Sakuno. I have enjoyed this. It's been good. My respects, Sir Hagen. Hey, Milky Drink. I don't believe it's hard I've to watch me and play Bert the, the Avenger at the same time. Back, wasn't it? An age I'll ago take that as a compliment that, that I'm distracting you. So I must be more interesting than the game. Under the same banner. <laughs> we did. Right. So even today, let's just skip we forward. Part yeah, skip part. Cobbler shamed my butt, and for that I demand. You don't have to stand just in my retribution. Way, I'm well aware. Why, if you accept my offer, right? Here we go. On the other hand, Big pile you of can coin. ride away from here, a rich man. What do you say, sir? Henry says, I want half of that. And we're good. Kuno, you can't do it. You're making a common mistake, Henry. There's a difference between what a man can't do and what he ought not to do. In this case, the difference is the size of Hagen's offer. It's a lot. So, shall we say, go you traitor? Is that what we're going to do? Is that, is that what we want, chat? Or, I mean, I suppose I could pay him to stay. And he probably would. I'd have to match the offer. I have the cash. And we want to see what happens if I say, go you traitor. Is that what we were looking for? Go you traitor. Let's see what it says then. Go then. Sir Radzig doesn't need the likes of you anyway. You're nothing but a self-serving swine. And I failed that objective. Never mind. Sorry, Henry. You know how things are. Times are hard. As long as he does go. Uh, tell Radzig. Ah. He'd do the same in my shoes. Take my advice, lad. It's better to stay alive. No, the helmet's come off now. Um... So is this going to be Henry versus the Hordes? Good luck! It'll be damn good luck if I have to fight them lot over there. <laughs> oh well, I've got my horse. Maybe I should get in the horse and ride off. You're Radzig's man, eh? We'll go back oh, to okay. Rate. Tell him the hiding is over. I expect him to face me on the battlefield. No, one on one. No. First, you'll face me. I challenge you. Look here, lad. My quarrel is with Radzig. It's him I want to fight, not you. You bought Kuno off with coin, but he's just a common mercenary. I serve Sir Razig, whatever the circumstances. You like to talk about honour, Sir Hagen, so I'm sure you understand I have mine too. Hmm. And I will defend my liege lord. Very well. If you want to die for your lord, I won't deny you that privilege. This will be an honourable fight, man to man. If I should fall, you're not to touch a hair. Okay, this is a different head. ending. Got it? Saint George, guide my hand. Okay. Um, should I should I do him with the? No, he's heavily armoured. I'm going to use the mace. The answer to my prayers. I'll never get through all that armour. Uh, I need the shield and the bailiff's mace. And is it too late to take some potion? Because there's some really good potions in this. If I can remember what they are. 
Uh, put strength in your blood, but bewilder you. No, I don't want that one. There's armor, antidote. What's that one? That's, uh... You can withstand wounds easily for five minutes. Strength will wound you less. The rage potion. Increases strength and evokes a bloody frenzy. For two minutes of damage you inflict increases significantly, but at the same time your defense is lowered slightly. Hmm. Huh. I could do him the cheating way. Do you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do... No, not that. I'm going to do him the cheating way. I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Honor is You'll get what in for. the eye of the beholder. Where's my bow? <laughs> Oosh! <laughs> Headshot. Oh, that went straight off his um, shield. That's no good. Headshot again. I'm going to enjoy this. Is that a fact? Oh. You call that ah, I missed. Go on then. Uh, am I out of arrows? That's a panic. Take that off. I'm out of arrows. Oh, my other ones aren't as good. Piercing arrows. We'll go with those. What's the matter? Come on. Hang on, why can't I draw this bow back? <laughs> that ought to slow him down a bit. But I'll tell you what, isn't it good having uh, heavy armor? There we go. Beat Hagen Zool. It's a different way of doing it, isn't it? But then I don't get the 6k off the uh, off the fella, <laughs> which I quite like. Lord Jesus, Lord accept Jesus. unto Ooh. your bosom this accept noble man, and make of him a martyr in your name. Dear Lord God, Jesus, God, accept accept God. Jesus. Accept well, accept <laughs> Okay, so they've obviously so scripted this world. a bit of uh, last rites in there. Rest. Uh, but alas, I don't think they may have scripted that quite correctly. Hey, Pan, how's it going? And Morel, hey. How's it all going? Yeah, okay, so that was a different one. Let's go and, let's go and talk to Radzig so we can see the, the full ending of that one. Um, yeah, we want to take his stuff. I'm not going to... 1.7 Groshen. Actually, it doesn't matter if I'm not going to take his stuff, does it? There's no point in me getting bogged down and overladen, so... I'm not going to save this version of the game, but we want to see what Radzig says at the end of it. So let's do that. I probably wasn't supposed to... Sh I, I wasn't supposed to shoot him like that. You, you can do it. Um, but, uh, yeah, you're right. I think I was supposed to kill him in fair hand-to-hand -hand combat. But, um, hey, who cares? Right, let's go and quickly see what uh, Radzig says to this. And then I'll load the last game in. And then we can see say we've seen both endings to uh, to that. Well, let's see what Radzig says. Let's see if the let's see if the scripting at the end is any different. I mean, it will be different, but uh, let's see if it's better or worse. And I want to see if Henry can get that epic one line in as well. Nothing in the rules says you can't shoot him. Yeah, well, I did it because it would be quicker than fighting him with the mace slowly. That's what you get for dueling an archer. It is a bit silly if someone closed in. On you when you're trying to pull the bow back. You've got no defences. They can lay into you. And it's easy to knock the bow aside if you're certainly if you're full draw or something. Free game in question uh, that Pan has found a link for is Axiom Verge, an old school Metroidvania indie game developed entirely by one person and it has all around amazing reviews. Hang on then, Pan, I'll give you a link. You can share it with people. See if that works. Oh, God, have I got caps lock stuck on? Did that work? That worked anyway. Okay. Uh, let's go and see Saranzi. Yeah. you think a big longbow would make one hell of a melee weapon. Uh, it's kind of like a, just a staff. <clears throat> the high draw rate ones are quite thick weapons. If it's strung up, though, it suddenly becomes a bit more cumbersome. To swing around and a bit more awkward because of the shape it uh, it makes. But if it's unstrung, yeah, it'd be like a, just a damn good stick. Is he in here? He is in here. God save you, Henry. Okay, let's see. We'll get the interesting bits of the text. Greetings. What do you need? We need 
That. Sir, we got rid of Zul. We did indeed. Finally, some. G well, sir, uh, I should tell you first that Kuno betrayed us. He took Hagen's bribe right on the battlefield. Hmm. Frankly, I was half expecting it. Uh, that treacherous bastard rode off and left me alone on the battlefield facing Hagen's company. All I could do was challenge Hagen to a duel. God above, Henry! That was damned reckless. I had to do something. After Kuno betrayed you, there was no one else to defend you. It would have come to a duel anyway, only with you instead of me. <laughs> yeah, come on, this is, this is worth doing, because look, we get another classic line out here. And we know how that would have ended. Well, what do you mean? No, you said yourself the Zuls were fighting in uh, Moravia while you were not, engaged in um, courtly matters. Not quite as I'm epic. afraid you wouldn't have stood a chance. And you had that much faith in yourself? Well, sir, in the time I've been in your company, I think I've proved myself capable. That you have. <laughs> so, Hagen Zul is dead. I dealt him a fatal blow in the duel. And his company? Hagen told them beforehand not to intervene if he fell. And they obeyed him. You Just were lucky. Well. You can't always rely on people to keep a cool head. Anyway, you deserve a reward for your efforts. And thank you, Henry. Once again, I'm beholden to you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, he gets to do it anyway. No, I can't deny. Sometimes I get the feeling I'm the only one around here who's capable of getting things done. <laughs> True enough. I lost a lot of good men in Scalitz. I'm glad I still have you at least. Best go and rest now. Thank you, sir. Well, that was cool. That was cool. That was a, that was a two good endings to that. Goodbye. Um yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So that review I saw on Steam, uh, they'd done something different and obviously got it wrong, but there are two good, viable endings. You can do things differently. And even if you're at the point in the game where you, where you go that and you don't have the speechcraft skill to uh, to win that and convince, I can't remember his name, Kuno, <laughs> um, it's absolutely fine uh, because you can do it that way. And the story still has an acceptable ending. So yeah, I, I like that. I approve. I like the DLC. Is it a little bit short? It might be a little bit short. The last one was a little bit short. But it's good. It's good fun. I've enjoyed it. I don't know who the hell that was. It just... Oh, it was my mushrooms. It's just loaded back in there. So this is... I've loaded the game back in where Henry um, persuaded Kuno and, he, and they all fight, fought together. And the stone died, but I think they disappear out of the game, so I don't think it matters. So... Good, 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 good. We've done. We've done here. Our work is done. Shall I go and find an inn? I might go and find an inn and sleep and save. And then I know when I load this up in the future, I know I'm at the right section. Can I jump over there? Yes. This'll do. I'll heal up in no time. That guard has a halberd. Steal it. Um, the one time... That'll do. One hour will do. The one time I got hold of a pole arm, I nicked it off a bandit who... And it was weird because it, once it was equipped, I couldn't unequip it. And you were like holding a spear out in your hand forward and doing weird attacks. It totally went wrong. I improved strength. I thought I was maxed out on strength. I thought I'd maxed out everything in this. Huh. Well, there you go. Learn something every day. Right, excellent. We will, of course, quit it right there, I think. Um, yeah, so Band of Bastards, good DLC. I really enjoyed it, and I, I approve of that one. And I feel like... Um, I feel like Warhorse have actually got that out in a good state. There was a couple of small glitchy things, one of which might have been nothing. It might have been my keyboard where it, it felt like it was a key stuck, but that turned out to be nothing. And what was the other one? I couldn't, I couldn't unequip the bow. Nothing, nothing to worry about. So, yeah, there's no major issues with the quests. Good game. I enjoyed it. It was good fun.